course I still woke up at 7.30 this morning. I know we can't leave our houses and everything's up in the air during quarantine, but having a structured schedule helps keep life consistent. In fact, that reminds me, I printed out color coordinated schedules for everybody, so uh, make sure you grab them. Breakfast is from eight to nine, lunch will be served at 12.30, and dinner will be served promptly at 7.30. We are having pasta. No exceptions, no little Billy, not making what you want. We have a schedule, it's color coordinated, follow it. Why in the world is everybody hoarding all these supplies? The rules clearly say two items per person at the store. I mean, come on, think of everyone who can't get supplies because of your selfish hoarding. You know, if everyone could just follow the rules that the government has in place, then everything would be fine and we get over this a lot quicker. Could you just follow the rules, please? I've been thinking about reorganizing and going through my closet for a while. There's a bunch of things in there that just aren't going to enjoy. I think it's time to donate a bunch of stuff. I think I'm gonna become a minimalist during the season. I know I technically just cleaned the kitchen an hour ago, but Tim made lunch, so it's probably messy again. Eh, I may as well go clean it again. There's no harm in trying to keep things clean, especially right now. Hey, were you able to make it out to the store and get all the supplies you needed? I know, it's pretty crazy with everyone on lockdown right now. If there's anything you're missing, I'd be happy to go up to the store and get it for you. I'm just here to help. I just really want to serve right now. Hey Tina, I know we just spoke like two hours ago, but I forgot to ask, do you have enough toilet paper? Because uh, cause I got some extra. I, I'd be happy to give you some of mine. You're good. Are, are you sure about that? Because like I said, I would be more than happy to share. We really got to help each other right now. I know we're supposed to be social distancing right now, but I just feel like so many people out there are lonely and feeling unloved. So I make sure to take care of my neighbors by giving them freshly baked goods. Just yesterday I made five banana loaves and baked four dozen cookies to hand out and make sure people are still feeling loved during this quarantine. Honey, I think we have enough toilet paper for ourselves. I really don't want to be selfish. Are you okay if I put a little bit in these care packages that I'm preparing for our friends? I honestly can't believe the government didn't consult me before completely shutting down the country. I had so many things planned. All of my 2020 goals and plans have totally been wrecked. Now that I'm staying home more, I have a lot more spare time. Maybe I should start that fifth side hustle to diversify my income a little bit more. You know, no one ever died of too many side hustles, right? Hey Jack, I, I just wanted to check in to see how your uh, quarantine goals are coming. You, you haven't made any goals yet? Come on Jack, you, you have all this free time. I have three pages of goals and new skills and new things that I want to learn. What, what do you mean you don't have any goals set? Think of all the things you can accomplish right now in this time. Whether it's personally, in your business, maybe you can start a side hustle. I'd be happy to forward you all the files I have and help get you started up in your new business. You know, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. Maybe I should start a channel now. I could kind of chronicle my days of quarantine and how I'm still being productive. I bet it would inspire a lot of people to reach their goals and be more productive in their own lives right now. I think I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Hey boss, are you sure I can't come into the office right now? I would give anything to be there. I'm just so much more productive there. I feel like I'm in a better working space when I'm there. I don't care if I'm all alone. I don't care if I have to wear a hazmat suit. I just please let me come into the office. I'll get so much more done for the company. Dang it, all the gyms are closing. What in the world am I gonna do? I gotta maintain my fitness. I know, I'll order some weights online so I can still maintain my goals. I'd hate to lose my progress. Now that I have all this free time, it's the perfect opportunity to grow myself and become a better person. I have all these self-help books that I haven't gotten to read yet. Time to get started. You know, now is the perfect time to try to become TikTok famous. I can really express my true self on that app. I'm gonna try it out right now. You know, all this free time has really given me an opportunity to focus on my poetry. I feel so inspired by current events right now. You know, I look out the window, I see so many beautiful things. Even though it's devoid of people, there's just so much perfect poetry out there. I just love getting to express myself with all this downtime. I've had so much free time to journal, it's been incredible. I just bought a whole bunch of new journals off of Amazon so I can keep chronicling my quarantine struggles. I bet people are really gonna want an inside perspective, how I really felt during these times. So I can't wait to fill these with uh, notes. You know, all this quarantine I think is really helping us connect more as humans. I noticed on my walk the other day that people were more willing to wave and, and smile at each other. I feel like we're connecting on a deeper human level of suffering. It's like we're all in misery together. It's kind of beautiful. What if this book that I'm working on turns into the next great American novel? People everywhere will be reading my words. I'll be a famous author. They may even make a movie out of my book. But then they'd cast the wrong people. 
and they just wouldn't get the true essence of the characters I'm writing. It just wouldn't come across properly. I'll stick to the novel. Hey Nick, I I'm really sorry that party you were planning for months had to be canceled because this whole quarantine thing. I was really looking forward to canceling at the last minute and not actually coming, but I, I am really sorry that it got canceled. And this whole COVID-19 thing is brutal. People have to cancel plans. They can't go outside. None of my friends can bother me and invite me to places. This is just a travesty. <laughs> I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. People can't leave their homes, and my friends can't bother me and invite me outside. Literally the best day ever. No, Mom, stop looking at Facebook for information about the coronavirus. Look, I made a website with reliable information and links to really good sources. Uh, I'll send you the website. That's where you should go for your information, not the anti-vax moms on Facebook. I mean, come on. Plus, on the website, it talks about all the misinformation that the mainstream media is spreading, so it's a good, good place for you to get your information. Honestly, quarantine hasn't changed much for me. It's pretty much life as we know it. Status quo over here, and I'm loving every moment of it. You know, the more time I'm spending inside, I'm starting to believe humans were created to be isolated and stuck inside. I'm actually gonna be okay if the country never reopens. Hey Tim, I'm so glad you called. I've been researching the coronavirus nonstop. I know exactly what you need to do to get rid of those symptoms and get you back on the healthy track. Don't worry, I got this. No one is more prepared than me. I know, Nicole, this whole situation is totally crazy. But remember that time I told you about the worst case scenario? Yeah, I guess I was right. So I did pre-warn you. It's not my fault you didn't listen and prepare. Everything is gonna be perfectly fine. We just have to keep cleaning, keep cleaning, keep cleaning, make sure everything is clean, disinfect everything. Hey, hey, make sure you wash that down over there. And remember, when you wash your hands, sing the happy birthday song. Come on, we gotta keep germs out of this house so everything will be okay. Remember, I predicted this was gonna happen, worst case scenario. I'm pretty stressed that we might not have enough supplies. I know I was the one hoarding toilet paper, but toilet paper runs out a lot quicker than we think. How long is this pandemic gonna last? I might need more toilet paper. I'm on Twitter, refresh, refresh. It's, it's been two minutes. I need to know what's going on in the world right now. No, I am not okay. My anxiety is through the roof. Everything is so uncertain right now. How long is this gonna last? How long do we have to stay in our homes? How are people still getting infected? Can people get reinfected? How long do germs last on surfaces? What is going on? When are we gonna get back to normal? Hey honey, did you say we're getting low on bananas? Don't worry, I'll run to the store real quick to stock up. You know, I heard it was bad for your car to leave it sitting for too long. So I better head on out to the car and just go on a little run around town. I won't leave the car, I'll be perfectly safe. Just a little change of scenery and a little healthy run for the car. Hey Jim, yeah, tonight at seven, it's called a quarantine party. You know, we all hang out over Zoom and, and chat and you know, we drink whatever we're drinking and just have our dinner, but we have it all together in a communal setting just through the computer, that way we're all safe. It'll be just like a normal party, tonight at seven. Please come, I'm lonely. I'm just making a list of all the places that I wanna to travel to once this quarantine is over and we're no longer captives in our own homes. Hey Aaron, I know we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now, but I was just looking up flights to Europe and now is the time to travel. They're so cheap. You literally can't beat these prices. I mean, if we wear masks, we'll be fine, right? I mean, now is the time to travel. We're young, this is the opportunity. Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on Instagram live and say hey and let y'all know I'm still alive, just really lonely. And maybe I can give you guys a tour of my house, show you guys my pets, my family. Just please come hang out with me. Hey dad. Yeah, sure. No problem. I can definitely run to the store and get some supplies for you. Just know I'm going to drop it at your door and then I'll text you when I'm safely back in my car so we can avoid any kind of social contact, just to be safe. Hey boss, remember that meeting I told you didn't actually have to be a face-to-face -face meeting? It could be done online or, uh, you know, through email? Turns out it actually can, and I was right all along. If only it didn't take a global pandemic for us to stop having unnecessary face-to-face -face meetings. I would get so much more work done. Listen buddy, you need to march right back in there. Those hands are not thoroughly cleaned. Remember, birthday song, wash them again. When you think they're clean, they're still not clean. Keep washing. I can't keep trapped inside this prison of a house. I'm going on a walk. Yeah, I know it's my eighth walk of the day. So what? I've been trapped inside this house with my family for way too long. Doug, he chews way too loudly. Susie, she's driving me up the wall. My wife, 
constant fighting, and little Jackson won't pick up his toys. Why in the world did I decide to have kids? No, Mom, you can't go outside. Social distancing is the only thing keeping us safe right now. I forbid you from going out and hanging out with the girls. Stay safe. Hey Kim, I'm really sorry that you can't go outside right now. I know this is a super stressful time, but I want you to know that I'm here for you during this time. I just want to affirm you in this current season. You know, honestly, I'm totally fine with the government ordering everyone to stay inside and telling us what we can and cannot do right now. It takes a lot of choices off of my plate. I can just stay indoors and relax. Life is pretty good. I'm averaging three naps a day right now. I love quarantine. I feel like I was made for this moment. No, I said I was going to go to the grocery store and get some extra supplies for us, but when I was there, there were people fighting over toilet paper, and I did not want to involve myself in that situation. So I didn't get any, but I did get extra Oreos, and I mean, who doesn't love Oreos? Hey Allison, wow, that's great news that you and your family are planning this huge social gathering outside. You're ignoring government regulations because you think people are overreacting? I mean, people are dying, but I want you to know that I support you in this decision. Yeah, we had to postpone our wedding because of this whole COVID situation, but it's totally fine. I'm a really flexible person. Weddings can be postponed, no problem. Whatever helps the greater good. I can't believe people aren't having fun during this quarantine. I mean, there's so many great shows on Netflix and Hulu and now Disney Plus. I mean, I'm reliving my childhood, having the best times, and I don't even have to leave the comfort of my own home. Quarantine is great. What's going on, people of the internet? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm a huge fan of the Enneagram. Like, huge, huge fan. So I wanted to come and add my own spin onto Enneagram types in quarantine. Now, do not worry. Do not get all upset. This was just for fun. We are not making fun of any kind of people. I just wanted to have some fun and kind of lighten the mood. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and let me know which Enneagram type you are down below, and if I nailed it or not. Also, can you guess which type I am? Anyways, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today's video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button before you leave and share this video with some other Enneagram addicted friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.